Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yukir tribe, our snowy mountain exploring tribe, and we are getting ready to leave the current island that we are on and adventure to the new land. This has been something that has been a long time in coming. I keep thinking we'll be able to jump to the next island, but I tell you what, trying to get the armored body recessive gene through as many of our creatures as possible is so much harder than it sounds, especially when you get so nervous about making sure you have various immunity genes added into your family group too. So we are spending the last time of having a huge baby boom going ahead and having pretty much almost every nest on the entire island occupied, which I'm pretty proud about. And we are going to see if this baby boom is going to produce the armored body children with unique immunity genes that we are really going for. Maddox has now fathered like half the island, which is a fantastic thing since he is the first one to have armored body in both of his gene slots. And he's passed it on to many of his children. So Anara will be having one of his kids. I believe Zafira is actually going to be having his grandchild with Glacier. And both Zafira and Glacier are two of our, I should mark them as alphas too, two of our main creatures because they are both armored bodied creatures with armored body in both of their gene slots, which means if the balance bear decided to try to nibble on them, it wouldn't be able to. So I really, really, really like that. And I definitely want to make sure we keep that armored body gene strong in the Ukir tribe. It's probably my favorite of all the genes that any of our niche creatures could have. Also, we have Aegis and a few other females tucked away on certain nests. And while I'm looking at it really quickly, though, I'm going to come down and have Zephyr actually destroy that nest that I believe... Uh, not really her brother, but somehow distantly related New Duke is in because we're going to need all of the material we can possibly get to be able to build nest on the next island. And many of you guys have been pointing out that we will also want to send over several pregnant females as well. So whew, a lot going on. You guys probably remember from last time where everything is like the amazing Sedell, the bunny hunter back here, Rosemary having passed away, bones all over the place, but little Kinsa spending some time with Anon. Hopefully she won't be alone for too long. We have Rara and Tata <laughs> with the short names actually wandering their way over, collecting up what resources they can find. And I have to say, I do kind of miss having Diggerpaw because look at all of these roots we could get. If we had Diggerpaw and Claw, I think that would be much better for our tribe. But we'll worry about those things after we make sure we get Armored Body safely and securely into our tribe. So let's go ahead and see what Zafira's first child is going to be like. Spoilers, it better have armored body. Really hoping, unless it's going to like mutate into the water body. We haven't had a mutation of water body, but of course it would be this moment if we were going to. But let's go ahead and see with our baby boom. Oh my, there's quite a bit going on. Rossi, so we have little Rossi. She's healthy. I could kiss the ground right now. Oh my gosh, wonderful. Little Rossi, we are going to rename her after some of the amazing names you guys have submitted. So let's actually go for, hmm. I want a really, one that really stands out to me. There's Sidel and Tempest. I'm pretty sure we've had Tempest. Um, and we've had Rossiya. Let's see. Let's go with, let's go with, oh, there's so many pretty names. You guys have definitely suggested quite a few interesting ones. Why don't I already have them picked out? It's so hard because every time I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe this will be the perfect name for this little one. All right. We're going to go with, um, just keeping it simple with Amy. So we're going to have little Amy who is the fear's child and she looks like she is ready to go. So she is an armored bodied creature. She is going to be marked as one of the alphas and she is headed on to the next island with her family. Having the females is very, very important too. So I'm super relieved. The genes are still a little wibbly with the immunity, but at least we've got the armored body in there. So let's, oh, there's a bunny. Let's eat the bunny. All right, we're going to get this as food. A little bit of food there. And then who do we have down here? Little Ronu, the child of Korra. Unfortunately, an unhealthy little one, even though he does have armored body. So that is a bit of a pity. He is indestructible to the balance bear, at least. Uh, Rodin is his father, and Rodin's just gonna kind of casually like walk around the balance bear there. 
And then let's go ahead and move little Moo Moo over. Moo Moo can be near her brother because she actually does have the same immunity gene illness. So unfortunately, Korra, the majority of her children, other than Glacier, have all turned out to have doubled up immunity genes. And that has to be quite devastating as a mother to see so many of your children end up very sickly. All right, and who else do we have down here? Wow, look at that! Look at the stripes, the black ear stripes with the little antlers. That is so cool. Yes! Yes! Sirari! Oh my gosh, I love you! Look at her! Isn't she amazing? And she has the immunity K-Gene! Oh, thank goodness! And recessive armored body. I'd be even happier if it was dominant armored body, but I will take that recessive. Oh my gosh. All right, and we're going to name her... Let's go with... Let's go with, the, somebody actually suggested, suggested the name Black Rose. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, but we'll call her Rose um, for short, but she just looks so amazing. And I am trying to use your guys' name suggestions, even when sometimes it may be a break from our usual naming pattern. So Black Rose, aka Rose, or Dark Rose is what we could nickname her. Fantastic fertility. She's got the armored body recessive, so hopefully she'd be able to have children who would have armored body. And she has that super rare immunity K gene. Wonderful. I think I'm going to mark her to go as well. So that would actually make up three of the, let's see, that would make up quite a few of the creatures I would want to take. Uh, Izar. Uh, Izar, I would take because he is really lined up that way too. He has immunity K, same lineup as his sister Black Rose, but I think it's better to take a bunch of females with us. So I'm just gonna have to kind of keep an eye on that for deciding. All right, we can't gather up that clamshell, but Avar has protected Izar, and we'll scooch over this way so that little Winty can gather up the nuts that she likes to collect as usual. I think her brother Glacier is gonna help out by, uh, or I guess her grand nephew Glacier, helping out by kicking the tree. And I think I'm gonna start wiggling Glacier over towards the, the path. He's gonna start kind of poking around and examining that path. And I definitely, let's scooch you over here. And then I did wanna have Evergreen come over and try to breed with Maddox because she does have like double big body but I really feel happy with Black Rose actually. All right we'll keep an eye on the babies. Zafira is going to stay up here to protect little Amy. So I think we'll take Black Rose. We'll take Amy. I have that immunity K there. Amy is one of our fully armored bodied creatures and then we need to take a couple more creatures with us. Uh, I think we'll leave Isila. Uh, probably. Yeah, I think we're okay. Like, honestly, Black Rose with that C immunity gene, I think is super important to take. Uh, well, Zafira has C immunity too. It's going to be really tricky. That K immunity is really what, what prioritizes her. So, all right, I need to start doing a bit of a search to see who we would take with us. Uh, some of these little ones have the recessive armored body and they have immunity H. If I could get somebody with the immunity D and H, that would be amazing. But I don't think this can ha that can happen from this group because the females are both G immunity. So then we have Koromi. Can I get her like in here to start feeling better? Darn, I don't think I'm going to be able to take as many of the immunity genes as I was really hoping. Oh, hey, get away from my berries. Oh, and then Evergreen can at least get this bunny. And Sidel has another bunny she can collect. And soon we can go ahead and eat up from that mole. And we're working on getting a crabbit down here. All right, come on, little crabbit. There we go. And there we go. So some food over here. Oh, and now poor little Anon is all alone. She does have the G and the D and C immunity gene. We're probably going to end up having to leave behind a lot more of the immunity genes than I really wanted to leave. But you just kind of got to do what you got to do sometimes. Tata, go ahead and get that, get that off of Rara. There we go. And yeah, Cora, unfortunately, I don't think we'll send any more of her children with them. So it is kind of tough because I don't know who to send now. We have, we have the C and K immunity gene. We have the G and E going. And then we've got, let's see, we've got, yeah, G and E, C and K are all going. So H is probably pretty important. H or D actually would be really important. So, huh. So that makes one, two, three, 
four creatures. Maybe I will send Azar. Maybe. Does Are there females that Azar could have children with? He has K and C immunity. G and C. G and E. K and C. Hang on a second. G and E. <gasps> oh my gosh! Amy and Azar! Yes! That's definitely happening! And then that would keep the K immunity gene in there. Thank goodness! All right. So that makes one, two, three, four, five. So we just need to bring one more creature. One more creature. And that would cover three of our creatures with armored body. Oh, this is so tricky. There's a lot of logic behind it to try to make sure that you're you're doing the best you can. Van Kirtha here, who will rename uh, Gera, which is one of the names you guys have suggested. He might be able to go, but I don't think so. Um, because he does have that immunity H. I think that's the only one we're missing now. Because, well, we would have, would we have D? I can't remember. All right, Maddox, you're in the way. I can't tell, I can't tell who's going and who's staying with all of this. Oh, and immunity A. Oh, how awkward. I didn't realize we were missing immunity A as well. So, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. All right, Zafira, we're going to send you down here and we're going to have Maddox guard his granddaughter there. And then Zafira is going to come over. Oh, can I go ahead and get that bunny? Yay, got the bunny. Evergreen, can you get this bunny? All right, come on. Come here, bunny. Arrgh, it's like right there. There we go. All right, got this bunny with Kurdoku. Lyrely can come over and help out with collecting up these nuts. And get away from my berries. All right, kick this tree. Come down, get this nut. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just going to have to do the best I can. You can't always take everybody that you wish you could. So once I get the creatures that I know are going down by the, the main area, then I'll know who I'm like, oh no, I should definitely send them. All right, K and C here with recessive immunity. But having the antlers is going to be really important, I think, for defense. All right, so I wish I could build a nest, but I can't. So we'll gather up some nesting material. That should hopefully help us out. The balance bear is still running around the place. Is there any nesting material or anything that Fisky here can uh, help us out with? H and D immunity are the things that he carries that we could possibly send with our group. And let's see, Amy, Maddox, you're staying. Okay, H, H, oh, Black Rose. Yeah, you and your brother, huh. H and D, that might actually be worth fighting for just one last time. So let's go ahead and maybe have that baby after all, Aralala. I hate to use up my precious resources on like nesting material, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to have another baby. Keep an eye on these babies. And all right, I think we're good. Whew. We're really gonna do it, I think. We're really gonna do it. I'm just gonna take the plunge pretty soon and managed to move us off of this island with the little group we've picked. They may not be the most perfect ones because there's more immunity genes to send over, but little Amy and little Azar will be able to hopefully have some armored bodied children with healthy genes. It may be kind of pushing it because he has that big body in the way, but it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and... I think we have some births, some stuff happening. Whoa, everybody's so sick up here, why? No, and there is the spiky body with armored body recessive. Spiky body is definitely a very dominant gene. I don't think I want to send little Gary. He does have the immunity H gene. And he does have recessive armored body. I mean, and he does have big body. But he's also pretty unhealthy because he was born from very unhealthy stock. So I just, I don't know about that. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to scooch little CC down here. She does have immunity D. Um... If only they didn't get sick and really low fertility. Yeah, that's kind of the trade-off. And then Siana here definitely wouldn't go, I think, because that, um, that, unfortunately, that spiky body is just so dominant. I don't feel like taking it with us. All right. Oh, and Sadell, you're just watching all these bunnies fly by you, aren't you? Let's come over and get this mole. There we go. And let me gather up the food back here really quickly surprising amount of food. Uh, oh, and Sadella, you're just being chased down by bunnies. All right, we're gonna scooch Ari up here. She can help with clearing away this grass. Do you guys remember when we first started moving over to this frozen waterfall area? Gosh, that was just ages and ages ago. 
All right, we'll gather up this, gather up this nut, kick the tree, gather up this nut. There we go. And then I could gather up some resources back here. Let's move. Oh, the balance bear is really scooching in there. But you know, he's not really doing much on the way of attacking, now that I think about it. Um, and little Moo Moo, such a pity we can't take her. And then her little brother Ronu, uh, who actually is not going to have to worry about uh, any of the balance bear creature issues. His mom can stand in the way and just like block that too. So we'll just have her do that. We'll gather up some of those materials. And then, <gasps> Winty! Oh, Avar, I'm so sorry. Winty has just passed away and I have no idea how he's going to handle that. That's going to be a little hard. Oh dear. All right, let's move the creatures I know are going over to this path so we can start lining them up. Glacier, you're definitely going over. And I'm gonna have you go ahead and get her pregnant to be prepared. Azar is going over. Black Rose is going over. Avar can, with his spiky body, can come over and kind of protect the baby for a moment. And then we are going to have little Amy go over too. New Duke, you're gonna stay. So I'm gonna have him move down and help take over, tending to this spot. Anara. Anara, I might have you have one more child on the off chance it'll have immunity A, perhaps? Because she has given birth to Black Rose and Azar. And we're going to have little Amy scooch down here and be watched over. So Anara is going to have one more child with Maddox. Uh, Maddox is going to scooch over here, gather up what he can for the those pieces. All right, we're doing this, you guys. I'm a little nervous about the immunity genes, but I really feel like we may have snagged as many of the like easily available ones that we possibly could. All right, I really need Digger Paw again. That would be very useful. Oh, and Sedal just has all these bunnies around her 24 seven. Yeah, if I had Digger Paw again, that would be super duper useful, but I think we're good. All right, so let's do this. I'm just gonna keep moving everybody. Let's see. Just gonna keep moving everybody around, gathering up food and getting the creatures I know we're taking. Ew, look at all that. Oh, there's so much sickness, why? Oh, we have another spiky body creature, darn. They're just not gonna help me out here. And I just don't feel comfortable sending the immunity genes that we have gotten with Sissy here. I mean, unless she got over that sickness. She does have armored body recessive though. That's better than nothing. So would it be, would I want to take immunity? But look at their, look at their fertility. It's so low. I would, oh, and there's a whole bunch of the Arctic ram foxes have just appeared too. I, I don't know about this. Let's see, and Korami, she has armored body recessive and she has immunity, immunity H and she does have cracker jaw it's just she's also been very sick but she's over her sickness would i send her her fertility is so low though oof oof the hard choices all right we have duke vaughn who unfortunately has a spiky body he's healthy but we don't have that immunity aging i was really going for all right let's see lots and lots to do black rose we're gonna send you over azar we're gonna send you over is the path here Oh yeah, the path is here. All right, good. And then little Amy is also going to come over. So that makes up one, two, three, four, five. Oh gosh, does that already make up five? It does already make up five. <laughs> We're doing this. All right, so Amy, Black Rose with that K and C, very important. We've got G and E. You know, I think I need to take the risk and just bring one of the not so great creatures who has either D or H immunity, because I think those are the last things that we're really holding on to. We have H on Koromi here, and then our Lala is about to pass away. Oh, there's another balance bear now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sedel, you're also surrounded. You're surrounded by, by there's a Dodo Mingo. Everything just showed up all of a sudden, just as we're getting ready to leave. I feel like when the balance bears show up, so do a ton of other creatures too. All right, Evergreen, you're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna send down one of the creatures who, whoops, Fisk, I did not mean to move you. And then Aegis is about to pass away too. I'm going to send down Korami, even though I'm a little nervous about it. 
because she does have the immunity H. She has such low fertility that this may be a very bad idea. But I think she's kind of like my only my only option if I'm going to bring in the last of those immunity genes. And I do like that she has big body at the very least. And that um and that she's got normal eyesight and everything. So Korami, you're gonna be the one to go. There, the decision's been made. It was kind of a very hard decision, surprisingly. <laughs> There's just a lot to pick from and a lot of creatures to care for. And I think I'll have like one more one more baby with Maddox, just to be sure that this is this is the real deal. We're not gonna be able to send immunity A over. Because immunity A is not in this lineup either. So there's several immunity genes we're going to have to leave behind, but that's just the risk we have to take in order to have creatures who are going to- Oh, there's a, there's a little clamshell right here. In order to have the creatures who are going to be able- There we go, clamshell here. And then there's another clamshell over there that I can't quite reach. We may be able to reach it, but I have to wait until next turn so we don't drown our creatures. There we go, put them over here. But yeah, that's just the risk we have to take if we want to have armored body because it is such a recessive gene and we had to interbreed so much to get it. Hopefully in the future, as time goes on, we will have improved our, our tribe enough. All right, we'll gather up this grass. Thank you very much. That the immunity genes can spread. But the point being, armored body is definitely going to go. All right, we'll gather this up and we're taking a broader selection of immunity genes than I thought we would actually end up with. So to be honest, I'm pretty happy. And over here, Cora is just like having a conversation with the bear. We don't even have to do anything because she has that awesome armored body. That's what I mean. Keeping the armored body just makes everything so different because we can defend ourselves again and again and again from any of the animals who try to come mess with us. All right, we're going to have little Ronu step over here with his sister. Hopefully his sister can help protect him. And then I don't think we need to mess with the Arctic Ram Foxes. Like, we can if we want to, to collect up some extra food. But I think all the Arctic Ram Foxes really do is, like, take your food. Alright, so we don't really need to mess with them. We'll destroy this nest with Is Isla in here. Yeah, nothing we really... Like, the K and the E would be useful, but we already have those going. Whew, alright! Oh my gosh! Talk about a lot, a lot to keep track of, but we've done a good job and we are not going to breed evergreen. So hopefully she will not pass on that webbed feet that we've got going on. All right, we'll have little Aegis scooch back. She did her best. Sissy, you did your best too. All of these creatures did their best with what they were given to try to produce some viable genes for us. I'm gonna gather up this meat. There we go. All right, let's do this guys. <laughs> last of the little group to go over we're going to have korami move her way over we have little serena who also has armored body unfortunately so we're gonna scooch you down here dang it amy you have webbed feet how did you end up with webbed feet but she's gonna be so important for that g and e breeding because glacier has that but none of our other females do all right black rose jump on up my little one and then we're going to have Amy step over here. And now we are just waiting for Korami. And that will give us the majority female as well. So I feel pretty good about that. All right, we're going to come down here and collect up some food really quickly. Because we can. There's clam shells nearby. <gasps> this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I'm so excited. All right, got to collect up the last little bit of food. There we go. There we go. Collect up the last little bit of food. Last little bit of food. Protecting little Duke Van who has spiky body so you think a bird would just ignore him anyway. Alright. And Evergreen, you can go ahead and relax in here. I am going to really miss all these hot springs. I hope- Oh, I missed the food. I hope there's going to be hot springs on the next places that we're going to as well. Alright. And we're about to get covered in leeches. Oh, I got the leech! Alright, get out of the water! Are you, are you still Zako? You still have a leech on you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fix this. All right, there we go. There we go. And then what's going on over here? I still have the Dodomingo roaming around. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of food for us to gather up at the last minute. So that makes me pretty happy. All right, out of the way you go, Dodomingo. I'm gonna gather up this bit. The Dodomingo is gonna be all frustrated because we took the nest it was playing with. All right, gather up that. Any other food back here that we can reach? Let's check. I love how you can hear the clams of all things. All right, there's a bunny nearby. A couple bunnies, actually. But I ran out of moves to be able to get them. 
All right. And then Rodan has just been like, he's like, seriously, back off there. He's not being super aggressive towards the bear, but it definitely needs to back off. And having the moles definitely helps. There we go. All right. We've gathered up quite a bit of food, quite a bit of resources. Pretty happy. Pretty happy with how everything turned out. Um, and now we're just going to bring Kwarami, who's kind of a surprise visitor from the top of the mountain. Nobody was really expecting Kwarami to come and join uh, the group, but here she is at the last minute. All right. Whoop, and there's some lunch. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's gather that up. There's actually some bunny right here. Wow, there's actually a lot of food all over the place. There we go. And this is the last minute frantic collecting where the whole tribe is going to be contributing in their own special ways to building up the resources we need to take on the next island. Gosh, guys, this is going to be so exciting. Let's come over, destroy this nest, make sure we gather up all the spare materials we possibly can. All right, and there's a balance bear again. Okay, we've got two balance bears going on. And it's snowing. <gasps> what the heck, a doodle? What the heck, a doodle? Are you kidding to me? What on earth? What? What? I'm trying to leave here. I don't have time for you. You're throwing me, throwing me surprises at the last second nonsense. My creatures are on a, a strict timeline. What are you doing here, buddy? Excuse you. I was busy here. What are you? Hey, not cool. I was about to leave. Do you hear me? I was about to leave, buddy. Rude. A walrus deer. Oh my gosh. Can I eat him? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a walrus deer. Who knows what you do with it? Probably eat it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Mr. Walrus deer. You do look daintily delicious, I have to admit. <laughs> For my creatures, at least. Oh my goodness gracious. I I had plans. Y you? Now I kind of want to try to eat him. Can we get him before we have to flee? Oh, this is going to be hard to like chase everybody down. Oh my goodness. Everybody's just doing like the barest bit of damage to it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh, and Maddox passed away of old age. Why? Why? <laughs> and here we are, guys. Oh my gosh. This is it. This is it. I just need to like scooch. All right. I'm going to scooch Azar back so that he can just jump. And then this is it. Just as this walrus deer shows up out of the blue to flummox me 100%, we're actually good to go and we're leaving. So we'll just have to hope that we run into more walrus deer as time goes on because that was not expected. And I'm ready to move to the next island and see what the heck it holds for us. Like I said, hopefully it'll hold more walrus deer because that was a little un unexpected entirely. We can gather up some food by destroying some of the berry bushes. I'm going to miss Anon and so many of the others. I really love it when you guys make fan art and like little fanfics about them so they can live on forever in our hearts because it's going to be hard to leave them, but it has to be done for, for being able to move on. That balance bear is still following Rodin around for being able to really move on and just take part in what the next, the next spot has to offer us. And this is pretty amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna step this way. Ah! My baby! It was spiky body. I was hoping that was gonna give it immunity and it totally didn't. And I think that's like everything we can possibly, possibly collect. There's a little bit of food here. Oh my gosh. And then a whole little group of sick babies over here with their father just like watching over them. Oh, Fisk, you've done such a good job with your children. And now one of your daughters is going on to the next island. And now we had a walrus deer and two balanced bears and who knows what else. And I I think it's time, guys. Whew, finally. I wish we could have done a little bit better when it comes to the immunity genes. But we did our best and we are going to be wandering and exploring and traveling to the next island now. So, whew, all right. Let's get Glacier. He's the one in charge. And we're going to go ahead. We'll have Zar. Come on. Jump on. No, I have to pick one not to send. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I really was hoping I would be able to make this happen. Dang it. It, it won't work anymore. Are you kidding me? Really? This is how we're going to play this? 
this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Amy, could you have, I have to have, I have to have, dang it. Black Rose, I wanted to take you, you're just so cool. But it looks like I have to switch Black Rose out for her brother because they have identical genes. Oh, goodbye, Black Rose. I really wanted to bring you with me. Why? I would leave Korami behind if I could. Should I leave Korami behind? Probably not. She has armored body recessive too. Forgive me, Black Rose. I really thought I'd be able to do it, but you can't. You have to keep a specific number of creatures and they won't let you just jump one onto the port anymore. Dang it. All right. We've got to do this, guys. Goodbye, island. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous, what if I made the wrong choice, but uh, we're diving in, we're grabbing that ice gene, and then we're running to another island to be able to stock up on food and hopefully find even more of the hidden genetics hiding in the ice. <gasps> and there it is. Oh my gosh, there's three! There's three! Three ice genes! Three! You guys! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're here. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.